Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, in the room and online to this press conference at the 48th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum. We are honored and delighted to welcome back Mr. Mauricio Macri, President of Argentina. In your special address, you stated that Argentina is ready to take its place in the world as a world player and your commitment to reducing poverty in Argentina. President Macri, please share with us your vision for Argentina and your presidency of the G20. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending this press conference. Let me share with you my very optimistic uh, uh, view for the future. I really believe that Argentina is a country with a high potential. I, I, I'm sure that it must be nowadays the, the country with the, the biggest potential around the world because we, we, we have incredible natural resources, but more important than that, we have amazing human resources, talent and entrepreneurship. And after many, many years of isolation, we are going back to the world with an intelligent approach to long-term relationships. Fortunately, we have an incredible reception from the world. We are building good relations with nearly every country around the world. And from, from that, I expect that we will build uh, new initiatives, uh, added value products, and that will create jobs jobs that will reduce the poverty in my country. That is my first commitment, commitment as you mentioned. And, and we are proud, and maybe what is one of the biggest challenges in our history. We are proud to lead the G20 uh, this year. And we expect that uh, during the whole year, we will keep working together uh, and trying to find ways to, to have a steady, firm, and, and better inclusive growth in the whole world because even though the world is growing there are many uh, still many places in which they don't feel the results so that means that we have to keep working no? and i think that the best way is to debate and to find tools in which will help everybody i think the three themes that we have elected uh, the, the work of the future or the future of work education and food security are three opportunities to, to develop uh, new, new projects and uh, new ways to create growth. No? So uh, at the same time, we, we, will, we will have in the meeting uh, a gender uh, across approach during the whole G20. And we also expect to, to to work around uh, more deeply around also health subjects that also were raised in, in, in Berlin. But more or less that is a summary and maybe we can start with the questions. Yes, so the microphone will come around. Please state your name and the media outlet you're from. The, gen the woman on front. Hi, Mr. President. Uh, this is Angela from ChinaCenter.com. It's a Chinese website. My question is, from this annual meeting, we can say some countries are pro-globalization, but some are not. Uh, I want to know your viewpoint regarding to globalization. And uh, will you meet President Trump during this annual meeting? And what kind of trade relationships you are expecting from USA and China? Thank you. Well, it's a long question. <laughs> we, can, we, may st we may stay the whole day answering your question. But well, briefly, first I uh, really appreciate the, the relationship with China. China is very present in, in Argentina as in the whole South America. We are working together in many sectors. Food security is one of them. Energy, they had been very aggressive in, in investing in Argentina. Nuclear, we are planning to build nuclear plants, hydroelectric plants. They had 
participate in the four renewable uh, energy tenders and they are investing in in also in tourism in with the states i have a very good relationship with a, a long relationship with donald trump and he had been very helpful in, in improving our relations and we expect to continue working together even though maybe we may not share uh, uh, the short-term view in terms of multilateralism vis-a-vis bilateralism and uh, i expect that uh, we will all be part of this g20 meeting and we'll continue debating and finding again i insist tools that will benefit our citizens no uh, I, don't, I don't know if something else I, that i left or not it's okay globalization globalization but well, globalization is a reality uh, we can't stop it our kids were born uh, under a globalization basis no they, they chat uh, around the whole world they, they travel through internet knowing what happens in the whole world e-commerce is boosting globalization so i think that uh, it's something that we, we have to adapt to and uh, our obligation as leaders is uh, trying to find uh, tools that work as buffers so citizens can adapt it adapt to to all these changes in in a, in a better way that's that's our main main task okay gentleman in the front Good morning, uh, Jorge Valero from the Spanish Daily El Economista. I have two quick questions. The first one, do you, Argentina experience itself the weaknesses of uh, uh, multilateralism? You hosted the last round of the WTO and there was not a, a lot of success there. Are you concerned about the results that you could get during the G20 presidency? And a second question on Mercosur, uh, the bone of contention is the beef quotas. Uh, do you see some room for compromise in the near future and what will be that compromise? Let's start by maybe in the short term, the most important thing. I think that is crucial for Mercosur, and I really believe that also for the European Union, find an agreement between Mercosur and the European Union. I think that we are quite close to sign the political agreement that will take us to negotiate a legal agreement that will take another maybe 18 months, and then a 10 year period in which we are going to start opening the different sectors of our economies. So it's a lot of time in terms of what is going on in the world, and I expect that we all have the, the courage of going forward, no? and, and, and the, the, the attitude to, to solve the, the small problems that were still there. And I expect that in my meeting tomorrow with Macron, we will find solution for a, a couple of issues are still there because I really believe that it's a huge, huge opportunity for both. WTO, everybody, everybody congratulate me for the organization and for the good beef and the good wine and the beautiful city. Unfortunately, we, we couldn't go much further uh, in the meeting, but we have to st keep working. Huh? There's no other way, as I mentioned before. So we're going to take one more question then back, and then we'll move to the other side of the room. The very back. Thank you, President. Uh, I'm Daniel Ritter from Brazil's Valor Economico. What's your expectation regarding... To the bay. To the bay. To the joy, yeah. Uh, what's your uh, expectation for Argentina's entry in the OECD? And uh, secondly, uh, in your um, dinner or with Mr. Macron, uh, are you going to uh, talk about um, the payment of that with uh, Swiss Engie? Yes, we already agreed to pay that all debt with, with the Swiss. And in, in related, related to OECD, uh, we are very optimistic and we really believe that is a great tool for us uh, to confirm the path that we had taken two years ago and continue the reforms. As I told, uh, as, 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 as I had said in my speech minutes ago, some minutes ago, uh, 
we, we are building consensus in Argentina around uh, an agenda of permanent reforms. No? We really believe in that. And not only as for a country like Argentina that fall backwards, for everybody. <laughs> this, this incredible uh, technological breakthrough that we are going through this, this demands that we have to be open and, uh, and, we, to, and we have to understand we, we, we need to be under permanent reforms. This is the times that we are living. So the lady in the front? Lady? The lady. Thank you. President Vivian Rodriguez with Bloomberg News. This is a question about a domestic issue in Argentina regarding the central bank. A lot of analysts and investors feel that Sturzenegger is a bit pressured to cut interest rates faster than expected so that he could promote faster growth in Argentina. Therefore, there's a chance he would just resign and leave the central bank. What do you have to say about that? Que in Argentina, we are all under an enormous pressure porque queremos crecer más rápido, queremos reducir la pobreza más rápido y el Banco Central con absoluta independencia, dadas las metas del Poder Ejecutivo, tiene que lograr que se cumplan, pero con absoluta independencia. Así que ellos manejarán la política monetaria según, como él lo ha dicho ¿no? hace pocos días, según vea que la inflación baja o no baja, adaptará la política monetaria, porque también es una prioridad bajar la inflación porque está ligado a bajar la pobreza y a crear trabajo y buen trabajo y ganar productividad. Gentleman, right here. Presidente Ezequiel Burgo from uh, Clarín Newspaper. I will switch to English for everyone who understands. I want to ask you um, uh, which is the balance of this visit to Davos and if you get if you got what you expected in this visit. I'm, we are very happy. I'm, I'm talking in, in, re, in representation of the whole delegation. What I, I've seen is optimism, enthusiasm. Here there are the ministers uh, in the delegation, but also uh, all the business community that came are enthusiastic with new partnerships, new players, especially ready to be part of the, all these PPP tenders that we are launching. Uh, I'm talking about uh, highways, roads, uh, ports, uh, water works, energy. And I, I had like, I, 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 I don't know anymore how many because it was well one after the other, but uh, more than 15 meetings and all very important companies, everybody announcing that they are going to disembark in Argentina, they are going to start operations in Argentina. So we are in the process of receiving new investments. Uh, investments always take some time uh, to take decision, then to Im implement them, and but uh, things are working. I, I'm really very happy of the results, and uh, I continue to see a huge support from the whole world to Argentina. The uh, whole world is surprised of the results that we had achieved in such a l short period, and uh, we should continue working in, in this direction. It's the right direction. Well. One more question from the back, the gentleman in the back. Right. You said that uh, two more, one hour ago, more or less. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, Carlos Mota, de ADN 40, in the Ciudad de México. Le pregunto, Presidente, ¿qué expectativa bueno, tiene de su visita a México, eh, tras la invitación que le hizo el presidente Peña Nieto, y específicamente en materia comercial, ¿qué tipo de integración buscaría tener la Argentina con México? Tengo muchas ganas de visitar México, es un país muy querido. Los argentinos lo visitamos permanentemente, muchos argentinos viven en México, muchos argentinos van a las playas maravillosas que tienen los mexicanos, muchos jugadores de fútbol argentinos juegan en México. Y eh, lo que tenemos es poco comercio, países tan cercanos, ¿no? tan, con tantos lazos de amistad que tengamos tan poco comercio. Así que espero eh, ir y tener resultados concretos en, en abrir el comercio, eh, sobre todo el agroindustrial, el de la industria automotriz, 
creo que son dos campos donde podemos generar mucho intercambio. Así que ojalá lo logremos y con el presidente Peña Nieto tengo una, una gran relación. Así que y él va a venir para como última tarea casi de su gobierno al, al G20 en Buenos Aires. No se quería pedir, no se quería perder comer un buen bife en Buenos Aires. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos. ¿eh? Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.